That's where we are. Wow. Mike's Daily Podcast. This is exciting because it's Mike's Daily Podcast. Mike's Daily Podcast. And that's what we are all about. Excitement and exciting things. And Mike Matthews starts the show off where he starts to sing. And he sings and he mentions the number of the podcast. If he can remember, it is, let's see, FF episode 2,616, 2616. Mike's Daily Podcast. Did you see the awesome podcast picture in the last podcast? Oh, let me tell you. Mike's. At Mike's Daily Podcast. Dot com. Podcast. Dot com. Yeah. That's where you see the podcast picture. I've been doing the podcast picture. 2,616 times I've got a new one I'll tell you about in a moment But yes, I am a bit of a shutter bug And Or a shutterfly A butterfly I don't know what it is One of those things Wasn't there There were these uh, Not apps This is pre-app world Websites that you could upload pictures to Back when we were all Oh, I can take a digital picture This is pre Phone cameras And you need to put them somewhere Hey I want to put them on a website So my friends can see it And this is pre-Facebook So there was something called Snapfish I don't know if that's still around Of course that got obliterated by Snapchat But that was, yes Pictures, fun Everybody takes them now Instagram of course is huge Everybody takes pictures for that I don't know if TikTok does it I don't go on TikTok because I'm old I'm in my 50s I don't do TikTok I can't I wouldn't if I was allowed to It's ridiculous So that's my little grungy Fogey thought for the day Yes Fogey thoughts Here And here's today's podcast picture It is from when I visited my late mom See, nine years ago, two th- no, wait, eight years ago, 2015. At this time of year, 2015, I got to see her on Mother's Day. It was wonderful. She had already lost a part of her leg, so she was walking with a prosthesis. Oh, it was tough though to see her whenever I had to go see her because I had to find someone to dog sit the late great Basil the Boxer, who we just heard. He's gone now, but now if I go anywhere, I got to find someone to cat sit because I have Rocky the cat who's all over the place, jumping up and down everywhere, crawling on top of my head. He loves jumping on top of anything that can get him eye level to me. And then he just wants me to pet him and he starts purring crazy. That's the one thing I enjoy with cats versus dogs is the purring. Dogs, it's a social wonderland because dogs are really sociable beings. They got to be around people. They got to be around dogs. They got to get out there and mingle. And that's what Basil used to say to me. He said, let's go outside and mingle, darling, because you are marvelous. So we would go over to every dog park in the Bay Area, every walking path, every hiking trail, Do you know who hasn't been doing that in a long, long time since the late, great Basil the Boxer passed almost now three years ago? Yours truly. I have not been hiking and walking, and I don't think I'm in the best shape at the moment. I need to get into better shape. And yesterday, I had a burger from a place called The Melt. This is kind of, I guess I just gave him a plug. I'm going to give them a slug though I'm not going to tell you where they are And I'm going to tell you right now It's way too expensive For just a hamburger But I had a craving I had seen them before And I'm like I'll try it And it was just terrible Just uh, I, It's not like I felt awful After I ate it I just You know how you, you When you eat something That's really bad for you Not a guilt thing But you're just Your body feels bad I didn't feel that (laughs) So I didn't feel that I just felt the guilt I shouldn't be eating that But once in a great while I'm not going to eat a burger Hopefully for a long time to come 
Hey, Mike, let's go on a Mike excursion and have a burger. All right, you've talked me into it. See, that's bad. You shouldn't be able to talk me into it so quickly. What's going on? Have you told your friends about this podcast? May I take this moment? Since we don't have commercials on this podcast, I would just like to say... No, let me repeat that. We do not have commercials on this podcast. As I slam the table here at Cafe Anyway, somewhere in Podcaster Valley, Tin, the last place on earth. Why is that significant? And why did I repeat something where I never repeat anything and I never say the word again? Because anybody who says again is basically telling you, hey, I said this earlier, so you should just disregard what I'm telling you now because I'm just going to repeat stuff and you don't have to listen. No. The reason why I repeated that is because it's very important. I do not have commercials on this podcast. And so many of them do. In fact, the ones that are the most popular have a bunch of commercials. And that makes sense because everybody wants to advertise on something that a lot of people are listening to. But it's also annoying and you should not stand for it. You should, as a podcast listener, which is what you are because you are listening to a podcast now. So voila, you are a podcast listener, a podcast enthusiast. You should go and listen to the podcasts that don't have any commercials. Please make that a priority in your life. (laughs) Make it above breathing. And no, don't do that. But, you know, in this world of things that are always trying to get to the top of your priority list, that should be something. Because too many, if you look at the top of the pop charts of the popular podcast charts, that's what I mean. There is always the ones that have commercials and you should just say, no, I want to listen to independent podcasters that don't have commercials that just give me content and I feel good because I'm helping promote those podcasters. That's my little thing today. That and we're going to bring you a wonderful segment towards the end of the podcast. Last podcast in FF episode 2615 which was called Collected because the one before that was called Calm. So we're calm and collected on the podcast. But On that podcast, we had the wonderful segment, Let's Go Back with Matthews, where I had actual audio from the radio, the way it sounded 20 and 30 years ago, and how yours truly sounded on the radio as a DJ during those times. And it's pretty humorous. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth. Yes, and I featured a song from a band I don't think exists anymore called the Choir Boys. Oh, they were so great. I featured a little bit of their song. But you know what? Mike, it's Mikey Fikey. I'm not going to say chicken butt. I'm going to say beef butt. Beef burger. Not pork butt. Well, I guess I could say that too. Because in a way, all of this is relevant. Relevant. What, what in the world was that about? Because I was talking for quite a while there About the thing that I shouldn't have been eating Called a hamburger Today's National Hamburger Day What are the chances If you're listening to this on the 28th If not, oh well May 28th is National Hamburger Day It's also National Beef Burger Day Why the heck they had to clarify that I guess it's so that we don't get it confused With National Turkey Burger Day But there you go It's also National Brisket Day. Oh, and maybe that is all because it's Memorial Day weekend, a three-day weekend. Feels like the beginning of summer. So people are cooking those outdoor barbecue type things. And it's National Family Fun Day. Whatever you do, you should try try eating healthy so that you can be with your family a long time. But have fun with your family. Get out, burn some calories, exercise. Don't eat the bad food. Enjoy your family and the close ties with people that, you know, they're not going to be here forever. Mom's no longer here. My mom. 
So, yeah. These kind of things are very important. And try to eat healthy. Instead of a hamburger, go for a turkey burger. Sorry, National Beef Burger Day advocates. Just saying. It's a good... and But you know, cooking together is a great thing. I'm being very Trump right now. And you know, but cooking together is a good thing because everybody's cooking and they're getting together just like I get together with the people that want me to be elected because they're good people. They're great people. They're people of all types. That's the way he sounds, isn't it? Where he goes on and on and rambles like I'm doing on this podcast. And now we return you to our regularly scheduled program with Mike Matthews. I guess... He's rubbing off on all of us. Wrong. (laughs) Maybe that's not a good thing. But if I was in front of a bunch of people and I was doing this podcast and they were all cheering for me, I'd keep doing it. And if they were telling me to run for president, I'd keep doing it. And if that awful media was saying, hey, Mike, you didn't win the election. You should step down. I'd be... You shut up, media. Because all you say is lies, lies, lies. Yeah, yeah. You're fake. Fair and unbalanced. Just check your cable provider and you'll see that HBO is gone. It's now Max. They tried to wean us off HBO slowly by first calling it HBO Max. And now it's just Max. Which makes me think of Max Headroom. Which makes me think of Max Headroom And he was a funny looking guy And he'd go stutter a lot And you know who else stutters Is sometimes Biden That just shows that I'm the better candidate Because he stutters and I don't Wow offend all the people that stutter everybody But if you get offended That's the way the cookie crumbles no. There's a lot of them So let's talk about Max Headroom And, 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 and the, 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 the things that HBO Max has done And turned into Max with new content. It's got new content from Discovery Plus. It's a nightmare of a show. I guess that's the big change. And the name. This is interesting. Wow, this is interesting. Uber suspended its diversity chief. Yes, they have a diversity chief. After she oversaw Don't Call Me Karen events. Yes. And it was about the events... It was about the experiences that are felt that are experienced by white women. That's what those Don't Call Me Karen events were. Because it's sort of a white woman pejorative name. Even though I've known a lot of Karens in my life that weren't white. So, I don't know. But that is what you uh, saw the diversity chief decided to throw one of these events and Uber has suspended that diversity chief. Also, Krispy Kreme last week gave away free donuts to high school students, college students as well, who were graduating All they had to do was wear class of 2023 clothing or swag. That was on Wednesday of last week? Well, wait, what about the people that are still graduating? We got a bunch of people that graduate next month. So thanks, Krispy Kreme. And check this out. Pasta prices have surged. (gasps) What? Prompting crisis meetings in Italy and calls for a strike. Yes. This news assembled from Rob Black, who also brings you the podcast, Rob Black and Your Money. I help produce it. And that's fascinating news to hear. Pasta prices surged 17.5% in March. Now, I don't eat too much pasta. I try not to. But then my lovely lady friend loves pasta, so I end up eating a lot of it. I just want to just um, thank everyone for joining us here on this show. This is great. My mom tried to teach me not to eat a lot of pasta, but yeah. If you, when you serve yourself with a meal that features pasta, go heavy on the toppings, go very small on the pasta, is what I was told 
by health experts. So gas prices have been sliding. No guarantee that will get more people behind the wheel over the holiday weekend. Demand for gas has been lackluster this year despite the drop in prices. And experts see little chance of that changing. The average national gas price was three fifty, one dollar $1 less than gas prices a year ago. Remember that? In California, it was awful. Because gas prices were over $6 and getting higher and higher. We were all worried it would go to 10 And that would have been bad, my friend. Yes. Do you remember how dang worried we were? When the whole Ukraine thing started and Russia and we, we stopped we taking any kind of Russian oil and the effects that it was having on Europe. We thought, I mean, a year ago, we were just so worried. Gas prices will get so high, we'll never, we'll never be able to fill our tank. Do you remember all the other issues we had with gas lately? Gas prices. Oh, that's right. Gavin Newsom gave us some money back last year to help compensate for that. I got like this credit card that was a debit card that had money that Gavin gave me. And whenever I, I just used it, whenever my lovely lady friend and I would go out to eat, I go, oh, hey, this is uh, this is on Gavin. So, yes. And OPEC basically reducing the, th- the thing they did where they reduced pr- production or something like that. And all these other things that were, oh, gas prices should have been so high. And now they're, they're dropping. It's crazy. I don't know what I don't know what with when it comes to gas prices. I know that I when I see gas start to go up, I tend to stop and get the gas before it goes up any higher. I don't know if that is something I should be doing or if I should just wait. Maybe I should just wait till the tank is empty and just get gas whenever whenever I have to. Cuz if you do it like that, maybe the law of averages you end up paying Less overall Than if you do it with the You know The fear Being driven by fear I gotta get gas now I gotta get gas now So gas prices are a dollar less Than they were a year ago That milestone has been matched Only three times In recent history During the 2009 recession Gas prices dropped During the 2015 OPEC supply glut Prices dropped And in the height of COVID In 2020 Gas has dropped Because we weren't driving as much That's amazing In general oil prices are weak Because of slowing demand Around the world As high interest rates And other issues Are weighing on economic growth That doesn't seem I guess that is a cause and effect if people don't want to spend money to go because their things are too expensive, are they staying home more? Products like gasoline were in short supply last year during the early stages of the war in Ukraine. That said, there are still several risks from hurricane season to a dramatic shift in the oil market spurred by OPEC's decision recently or sharp, sharp economic shifts could cause something as well Gas prices just seem to go up On a whim But as soon as they do Everybody blames the president And didn't we tap into our Reserves when gas prices Got really high That's what Biden did He, he tapped into the Did you know there's a syrup reserve Maple syrup reserve In Canada that always blows my mind. There's like a big building somewhere that's storing a bunch of maple syrup. But anyway, cafe anyway, it's just like stocks. They go up, they go down. Gas prices go up and go down. 
And who's to say what what now? I when gas prices go down, when the cost of oil per barrel and all of that goes down, I love it. I'm so happy, and I get so mad at the econ- economists and the people covering financial news that go, "Oh, gas prices have got oil prices have gone down. Oh no!" They get so worried. Uh, but you know who is really worried is Disney. And they had to close. I don't know if they're really worried. They make so much money. And they got that uh, Little Mermaid remake that's out now. Because they got a remake with live action everything they did in the 80s and 90s. They've done it now with Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast. It's this thing where people they the, the older people remember when the original movie came out so when they see it in live action and they're doing scene after scene recreating it visually from the animation to the CGI or the live action which is involving a lot of CGI so technically it's not really live action because there's still a lot of animation of a Hyper digital sort Going on But they do it Because Disney is only making stuff That people Know the reference to They're only doing Like the Star Wars stuff Because people have a reference to it Because they were into it In the 70s, 80s, 90s They're doing the Marvel stuff Because people have a reference to it Now that Marvel's been around now For well over a decade People have reference to other characters that they like But what did not do so well Is the Star Wars Hotel All the references in the world Couldn't help it Continental breakfast and lightsaber training It just didn't work Disney shutting down It's immersive Star Wars themed hotel Less than two years after opening it The high end stay Let fans of the intergalactic franchise let them embark on a choose your own adventure experience aboard the Halcyon Star Cruiser. It got rave reviews. Well, I don't know about that. I know there were a lot of reviews of people online saying, wait, this is crazy expensive. Tickets for a two night stay started at 6000 for a family of four and nearly 5000 for couples. Visitors have dwindled even the Disney uh, after Disney began offering discounts to its most loyal customers. The Final Frontier Disney said it would stop accepting guests at the hotel by this September. I saw little clips of it and a lot of it is, you know, people that are the the, the employees, the cast members as they call them in Disney World. Uh, They, you know, some of them are not the best actors. It looks like you're doing dinner theater here. And it basically is just dinner theater with nice costumes. So, and you're inside the whole time for two days, three days. (sighs) Immersive. That's what it's come to is this whole thing about being immersive. And I don't know. Some people don't want to be that immersed not so happiest place on earth Uh, Mickey merch and admission fees are starting to break the bank even some super fans are complaining the closure of the Star Wars hotel rooms hotel shows that super fans have a breaking point and I guess that is the point of that Uh, It was a a FOMO thing A lot of people Maybe still a lot of people Are going to go And check it out While it still exists But oh, What a waste of money But that's what people want They want experiences Look who's here Hi Mark It's Benita the Rodeo Queen Hey uh, I'm going to my horse tonight It's a Discord field player Tell you what What you know, Bonita, she is the rodeo queen. And so she should be allowed to get on that stupid star cruiser thing and go off into some galaxy far, far away. Hey, you made a reference to Star Wars. 
Disney fans would like that. You should get a job. You would probably get hired at Disney because you made a reference to something else. And that's all they do now is stuff that has references to other things. Yeah, I noticed that you were talking about that. What about, like, the stuff, those cartoon things, like the thing with the singing people in the house somewhere in South America or whatnot? Oh, you mean Encanto, yes. That did seem original. That was all original. And Coco. Yeah. I guess they do some original type stuff. Yeah, so you're wrong. Well, I guess... I guess we can agree to disagree. But for the most part, it seems that they're... That's what they're going for. Look who else is here. Hello, Mikey. It's a brewmaster. Would you like some root beer? Oh, wow. You're asking me? Usually you force it down my gullet. Drink it right now, I'll tell you. I make the root beer. Oh, boy. Yes. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Is it, what's in there? Peppermint. 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 Wow. Peppermint. Peppermint. Ah, I don't even know what that is, but. Well, it's get, got me all fired up to do the final segment we have on today's show, and that is. Uh, Mike Matthews New Tunes Feud We're gonna have Two songs Battle it out Fight To the very end And you get to decide Which one you like best Cause you know The phone number right I don't have to say it Oh okay I will 510-228-4640 That's 510 Cause it's the East Bay 228-4640 Here in the Bay Area And you can vote For the song That you like best Here's the first song It's by Jad and they emailed me, Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. They emailed me with these songs. So you decide which one you'd like best. The one that gets the most votes, we're going to have on the show. That's right. I'm going to have them on the show somehow. Maybe. Going to talk to them live on my show. And I haven't had people on my show in a long time. But if you want to hear some of those interviews that I've done where I talk to musicians, and I love talking to musicians. You can go to mikesdailypodcast.com, uh, click on the little hamburger thing, the little three lines thing at the top, and those are where all the... Inter- oh, wait, I don't have that. It's the home. It's the thing that says home. If you hover your cursor over it or if you touch it, you'll see, uh, if you're like on your phone, you'll see all these interviews, and that's when I used to interview musicians, but then they kept showing up late to the interviews. Or they would blow me off and I got mad and I stopped doing it. Tomorrow, by the way, as well as it being Memorial Day, is National Paperclip Day. And National Coco Fawn Day. Which is an elaborate uh, meal that you can make. Okay, here is the first email that I got. Hi, Mike. Ever had a really bad roommate? It's a long story in my case. The short version of that is that my roommate had all these expectations for me emotionally, but they were they were not capable of being honest about what they wanted or needed. There was a lot of passivity and hostility from them at times, usually due to a narrative they'd accepted as true and not told anyone about. I wrote, say what you want because I was fed up with the situation. I sat down on my desk, wrote out the lyrics in a cathartic stream of consciousness and finished it within 15 minutes. Let's listen a little bit to it from Jad. This is uh, Say What You Want. Manifest destiny Cause you deserve All right, I played a little bit of it because I don't want to get dinged by YouTube because they will ding me if I play too much of a song. The next song is by Tandem. Hi, Mike. Hey, Mike. It says, I'm Maxine from Tandem. That's spelled T-A-N-D-M. Tan-D-M. A Toronto-based indie pop band, our new single, The Man in the Sea, is a poem that I wrote as an assignment in high school. It was inspired by a story from my grandmother 
that what caused the ocean waves was a man with a big spoon stirring the seas. My inspiration was to convey the sensation of a childhood belief or fantasy that shatters upon discovering the realities of the world. Similar to realizing that the tooth fairy was your parents all along. What? Really? Discovering that the ocean waves were not caused by a man stirring with a spoon all day, every day, however far-fetched the idea may have been, felt like heartbreaking, like a heartbreaking part of growing up. Here is a little bit of that song. Tandem. Cool. Okay, the next song is by Amara. Hello, Mike. I was walking back to the school uh, studio one day in the spring of 2021 and found myself singing this cheeky song about projection and what happens in a new relationship when the first stages begin to fade. I recently learned the word limerance. And nearly two years later, it turns out to be a primary theme of what my new single, New Love's More, New Love's Mortal Coil, is all about. Limerence, noun psychology, the state of being infatuated or obsessed with another person, typically experienced involuntarily and characterized by a strong desire for reciprocation of one's feelings, but not primarily for a sexual relationship. This is... Amara, A-M-A-A-R-A, and a song called New Love's Mo... Why is this? I want to say Mortar Oil. New Love's Mortal Coil. All right, very cool. Amara. She's got blonde hair. That <laughs> That's uh, what I found out looking at her picture. Okay, here's another email I got. Song number th- four is by Jane's Party. Hey Mike, Ships on an Ocean was inspired by a best friend's breakup with a longtime girlfriend. I'd gotten home after meeting him for a coffee and pretty much wrote the song in one sitting. I didn't plan to write it, but the imagery and mood of his experience, I think, seeped into my subconscious. Here is the song from Jane's Party, not Jane's Addiction, but Jane's Party, Ships on an Ocean, a little bit of it. Wow, and the animation for that video is pretty darn cool. So, the last song is by Violent Night. Hey Mike, the song was inspired during a period in which I felt a lack of inspiration. Ironically, the absence of inspiration became inspiration in and of itself. Losing My Mind was written during a period where I felt there was a void between myself and the rest of the world. Here's a little bit a violent night and losing my mind. All right, which one did you like better? Call me now. Call, 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 call. Call me 510. 510- 228-4640. That's 510-228-4640. And with more ways to reach me, because you always can, and I'd love to hear from you, so please do that, won't you? Be my friend. <laughs> please, he said desperately. It'll be an immersive experience, being my friend. Or at least calling 510-228-4640, because you're calling Cafe anyway. And it's like you're calling the cafe. It's awesome. But with more ways to reach me, here's A-Frame. Thanks for listening. 
Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.